Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Garrett the Cage, and welcome back to Far Cry New Dawn on the Xbox One X. Last episode, we got a few more outposts and a couple more guns for hire. This episode, we're kind of doing basically the same. I have uh, the Warthog here, and then we're going to come back over here and get Herc. Um, for the most part, I got a lot of the campsites up to two stars, uh, so we're actually going to spend a little bit of ethanol as well. Um, I definitely, anything I can buy that's worth keeping. Don't level thing. So I got to upgrade the level of the whole place first. So we'll go back and do that here in a moment. Picked up Nana. She is a treat. Actually, she wasn't too bad. I didn't quite care for her. Being a sniper, she has a little bit slower uh, attack. And it made it a little bit harder on some of the, I did a level three Whoa, bear. I did a level three uh, outpost retake, and actually it was pretty difficult with her. But once I switched to Gina, uh, it actually went ten times smoother. Come on, Gina. Grab this boat here. Now, only because, yeah, Nana's attack is rather slow, though it's effective. If she misses, it's really sucks. Come on. Come on, Gina. There you go. I figure, yeah, might as well pick up all the guns for hire. Why not? Seems silly to forget about them all. Part of me misses having two of them. But I will say that having two of them made things a lot easier. When you only have one, it makes it a little more challenging, which is nice. Oh, it's a boar. Warthog boar. Similar. Investigate the shed. Watch out for the bees over there. Whoa, bees! Bees! No, the bees! Shit up ahead. That. Let Gina take care of them. She's, she's a good problem solver. <laughs> it did. Is that everybody? No, that's not me. Let's loot the place. Seen a few things laying around here. So we're looking for duct tape. I will say the fast travel to the smaller areas is nice, but it also kind of defeats the purpose of ever driving again. You have such short distances now. Which again is nice, but on the other hand, it's like, ugh. Kind of miss just driving around. Bunch of carrots. For another thing of duct tape. Ah, there it is. Let's check out the shed now. Oh, what's it say? Oh! Good lord, you're huge!
Hi. Oh. You're just a big old teddy bear, aren't you? we got in here. That. Anything else? Doesn't look like it. Grabbed all the duct tape. Uh, let's go get Herc. And then we'll head back to uh, uh, Prosperity. Ooh, do you have somebody else? We owe a lot to Pastor Jerome and Ramon. They're saving people from the highwaymen. Come to think of it, you and Jerome would make a hell of a team. Check up on them. They were at the old silo. Awesome! He's awesome. I love him. Well, we might have to go make a pit stop before we head back to the main, main area. Where's... There it is. That way. Not too far away. Let's go help out Herc. Should be right down here. There he is. Nice. Guy, do I know you from somewhere? I mean, you look dang familiar, like as if, as if we'd done this before in some, some endless haunting loop for which neither of us may ever escape. Huh. Oh, hey. Tell me about her, Herc. Uh, I think the same thing every time I see you. The love of my life, the deadliest human on the planet. Damn, Gina, you are looking good today. Oh, my goodness. Come here. Come here and give, give Daddy a kiss. Come on. <laughs> yeah, too much. That's It's too much to ask for right now, and I understand that, and I appreciate that. It was just... I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I do apologize. You're, you're right to ignore me. This is on me. This is... I made it awkward. I know who I'm Herc, and I'm real glad you showed up. I'm looking for a driver. A driver with a prowess for unregulated violence as if they were a younger me. Okay. Well, no doubt you've probably heard of my legend, my many outlaw adventures, you know, both in and out of the boudoir. Well, all the stories you heard are true, including the one about me liberating a country with a bunch of monkeys I trained in the deadly art of edge weaponry. But I forsake that life of fame and fortune and all its trappings to settle down. I started a business. My cousin, man, we made party liquor. I fell in love with the woman of my dreams, man. We had a baby. It was a good life, man. A peaceful life. But then, then these highway men, they came and they took it all from me. They took my distillery. They took my ride. They took my woman. And they tried to take my baby. They made this personal. So now... I'm a coach on quick on their asses. I'm a fucking take from them, starting with my ride. Okay. So I need you to be my wheel man, a fearless companion, willing to risk life and limb while I blow the fuck up out of everyone that stands in my goddamn way, like I'm the jizz master MC captain. <laughs> I don't know what that is, man. I got carried away. Jizz master MC captain just sound like just sound like a fucking boss to me, man. I feel like a boss, man. I'm in fucking boss mode. Will you join me on this path of vengeance? If you do, me and the monkey gods will reward you with spoils beyond your wildest dreams. Party liquor, pornographic VHS tapes, cool guns. Yeah, I'm sold. You named our baby later. I really appreciate your help, man. I, I promise you, you're gonna love my car, man. It fucking hauls ass, man. All Fast and the Furious style. It's like a fucking boner on four wheels, man. I ain't even kidding, neither. It's like the fastest car in the West. Not even a highway, man, can catch this thing. I mean, 
David Hasselhoff <laughs> called me up once and he was like, yo, between you and me, man, Kit's a fucking bitch. Let me talk about getting your ass. I told him to fucking take a hack. That's probably why they stole it in the first place. All just jealous of how fast it goes and how sexy I look when I'm driving my whip. But they're so petty. Well, joke's on them. I booby trapped that car and they could never look as sexy as me driving it because I got an inner confidence that just shines through. It's all about confidence, which is why they brought it here to the table of the trap. But, uh, you know, I got to them first. Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Better let me turn off that booby trap before you get in. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here, here we go. Wait, what, what the hell is this for? Uh, never, never mind. Never mind, I got it. It's good, I got it. You ready to go so fast your puberty hairs will blow back and tickle your butthole? Um... I don't know. I guess. Oh, shit. <laughs> that, there, that, that's the booby trap. Turns out, I guess I didn't, I didn't disarm it. Okay, well, no big deal. It should be fine as long as you don't stop for more than like a couple seconds. You should go to take out the barriers. This, this thing doesn't turn, Herc. Or you can just drive through it and chip my paint. <laughs> What is wrong with your car, Herc? Dude, if you don't keep driving, the car is going to explode, remember? Well, the car is stuck, Herc. I got stuck on a rock because it flipped itself around. What? I have to go pick up all the gears again? I got the gears. I'm gonna leave them behind. There. The car drives like a potato. Okay, Herc? I hate to tell you, your car's shit. Oh shit. That there, that that's the booby trap. It turns out I guess I didn't I didn't disarm it. Okay, well, no big deal. It should be fine as long as we don't stop for more than like a couple seconds. This car's a piece of junk, Herc. This is as fast as it goes. You're being a backseat driver. Turkeys! Watch out for that truck. Further? Herc, this car is a piece of junk. I'm flooring it. <laughs> yeah, that is a problem. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give you the gun.
don't know how this thing's moving. Hurt. Really? That's we did all that for nothing. Wait, what was that? For reals? Are you being for reals? Oh man, that was awesome. Oh, that. Where was I? Oh right. Boy, look at that trail of carnage we left there, amigo. <clears throat> so, uh, woo oh man. I, I know we were only going like five miles an hour, but my heart is pounding and my dick is hard. That was, that was intense. There was like explosions and gunfire and fucking bison and, and we couldn't stop or we were gonna die. It was like, it was like speed, but in slow motion, man. Shit, <laughs> shit, whoa, man. And you know, I, I was gonna give you the car as a reward, but but don't worry, I can make you another one. And I'm no, gonna, I promise I'll take the car. I'll take the car the way it is. You know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we made a pretty good team here. Okay, I, I can see you kind of feeling it too. So, if you want, we can we can continue down this path of vengeance, and and we can bust some more heads, man. You know, just 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 give me a call anytime. I'm I'm usually free. Oh, <sighs> don't worry, Herc. I will not call you. Unless I truly just want to blow crap up. Okay. Before we wrap up the episode, we only have two people left, which is awesome. I want to go back to main base here. We'll pick we'll pick him up in the next episode. I want to go back here to upgrade. All right. I will give this game credit that the load screens are relatively quick. Makes things really nice. It doesn't matter where you go or where you hide, redneck. We will find you, and your punishment is going to be so much worse than what we did to that baby's treacherous ass mother. Trust. Let's do it. Whoop whoop. Okay, let's kill people already. Level three. All right, let's do some home base upgrades now. Definitely want to be able to craft newer weapons. But I don't. Let's take a look at everything. Grab that. Stronger, stronger. Yeah, definitely having the stronger people will help out. And we have enough for one thing left. The problem with crafting the weapons is that you have to have some really big things to craft them. So I'm going to go with the health. Like, you have to have a lot of materials to craft some of these weapons. Extra health is pretty pretty solid, though. I'm all ready for it. Let's go do something. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a good place to pause it. We'll go pick up our next gun for hire, our second to last one in the next episode and keep the journey going. So thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you can, give the video a like. It does help us out quite a bit. Also, check out the channel because we have tons of videos going on over there. And until next time, you guys, stay frosty.